Uh, first of all, TPMs are a form of technology. The most common application is the digital rights management or DRM technology that you see in, on DVDs, CDs, and various other products. <coughs> what do these technologies do? Essentially, they add a, a, another layer to the rights holders' methods of enforcement of their copyright or any other right. And Dutch already also mentioned that. So if you look at it as a layered structure, perhaps at the first layer we have the legal structure, which for the purposes of this present discussion would be the copyright law. As a copyright owner, you've got certain exclusive rights, and under the copyright laws, you get to enforce those rights. That's the legal layer. But in that legal layer, there's actually another form of law and other forms of law that allow you to enforce those rights, and in certain cases, to even extend and expand those rights. For example, contract law. Many of us, all of us, are familiar with the kinds of shrink wrap and click wrap licenses that you get when you purchase or download software. Um, the end user license agreements or the EULAs, which most of us, even lawyers, don't actually read, but we just click and download anyway. Um, but the content of those licenses, of those contracts, sometimes go beyond what copyright law permits the author. So we've got the additional layer of contract. And now we've got a third technological layer, which is not tied to the legal copyright layer. For example, if you use a TPM to lock up content, you are not restricted by any law um, currently in terms of the time limit for which you can exercise that DRM or any other defense or exception available under copyright law. So as a right holder, you can use this technology and you can use this technology over and above whatever legal rights, whatever legal mechanisms you already have. <coughs> 